Yes. Uh, my name is Paul Barbarian. I'm the CEO of Orbotics, and we are the creators of Sphero. Uh, Sphero is a robot ball that you drive with your iPhone or Android device. It's uh, completely uh, uh, robotic and programmable. We support 14 different development environments, and there's over 30 different apps and games for it. So what's different between the previous Sphero and this one? So this one is faster, it's brighter, it's uh, more agile than the previous Sphero. Uh, this one's been out for a few months, and then we're uh, just announcing our new product, Sphero 2B, which is uh, a tube-shaped robot that uh, can travel at five meters a second. Yeah. It's uh, driving over there. There's one there, right? There's one there, yeah. So, uh, can you explain how it works? So, it, uh, so this so it's Sphero 2B. Yeah, okay. So she's driving it right now. Oh, I um, And Sphero 2B uh, uses the same method of locomotion as Sphero. And it, uh, it's designed to roll and tumble and jump and be kicked. Uh, it's, it's really about a creative, open, fun play experience. And then there will also be a player versus player game. So uh, the Sphero 2Bs can fire at each other uh, and play games where it's multiplayer. Is that a camera? It's, uh, it's, uh, this one does not have a camera. No camera at all, right? No version. Not, not, on, uh, not on these two robots. Uh, so how do they navigate? They don't have to you navigate with the app. Well, they do navigate. They also have autonomous modes. It depends what app you're using. There's multiple apps, so some apps are more autonomous than others. Uh, this one, uh, in this main app, is you drive your ball and you complete missions and activities. And as you complete them, you earn uh, different levels. And once you achieve those levels, you'll get new tricks and new capabilities. This is the app for this? This is the app for this. apps? How many apps are there? There's over 30 apps. By the community? So um, I'd say about half are by us and a half are by the community. Uh, it all how, many, how many balls do you sell? Uh, we don't disclose our sales numbers. Millions? Uh, not quite millions yet, but uh, we're well on our way towards that. Nice. Oh, and so this is super fast. How's the battery on there? So batteries on both of these are one hour. Play for an hour. Well, that's awesome. So that you could have an app. So you just fill the area, and it would be autonomous. It would know where to go without getting into stuff. Right. So what it does is it it builds a um, a map of the room as it's driving around, and so it gets a sense of where uh, it is and uh, where walls are by when it has collisions. And so we can kind of build this concept of a geofence with the robot, and it will stay within that uh, that confined area. Nice. How much? So this one retails for 129 U.S. dollars in the U.S., and uh, 2B will retail for uh, under 100 dollars in the U.S. So it's even cheaper. Yes. But it has different functionality. Different. different yeah. This one's all about speed and going fast. And this one's about you know precision. This one. Has Augmented reality. Can, can I lift it up? Uh, so, uh, is there similar technology inside? Some kind of like gyro stuff? Yeah, same, same technology, same uh, sensor pack, same SDK, same API, same level of programmability. We support 14 different dev environments for third-party developers. And do you have mostly uh, children using them or adults? Or so it's say? a it's a mixed bag. We we basically our audience is. Have fun. Uh, people like to have fun. We call them the connected family, the tech forward family. Families that have multiple iPods or iOS devices or Android devices and tablets uh, are the ideal candidate for purchasing a Sphero robot. It's for people who kind of really expect a lot more from their toys, something that's, that's more advanced technologically, more durable, and multidimensional. So educational for programming as well as fun to play with.